What is good, horror horror? This is your boy Horror Gamer back with another video for you. And as you can tell by the title of this video, this is another Horror Gamer Reviews. So before I get into this review, if you haven't seen the movie yet, go out and watch it because your boys, your boy Horror Gamers Reviews has spoilers in them all day, every day. So, like I said, if you haven't seen the movie yet, go watch it, come back. Finish watching this and let me know what you think in the comment section, whether you enjoyed the movie, whether you hated the movie. Um, what are your thoughts on the movie? If you agree with me or if you disagree. So with all that being said, Horror Horde, anything after this point is on you. And, it's, and that's it. Alright, so with all that being said, Horror Horde, as you can also tell in the title, menu, uh, the title of this video, I'm going to be reviewing... Oh, the Meg in 4K. Oh, this is that bomb steel book by the way that uh, I just recently got so what can your boy horror gamer say about the movie the Meg yo this movie is fucking legit you know that shark let me tell you something the CGI in this movie is by far some of the best CGI I've ever seen you know your boy horror gamer isn't a big huge fan of CGI I'm more into practical effects like Jaws that wasn't CGI that was a fake fucking shark that they used and they had all kinds of problems with it, but it still made one of the it made the greatest shark movie ever made. This was the complete opposite of what Jaws was in the fact that this didn't have much practical effects. This was a lot of CGI. And let me tell you something. With the CGI they used in this, in my opinion, the Meg is the second best shark movie ever made. And it's saying a lot because there's another movie that I will be doing a review on later that was number two in my eyes, but then after this came out, went back to number three. So um, basically the story is Jason Statham is this uh, basically washed up uh, underwater rescue guy who is alienated because at the beginning of the movie... He lets a group of people in a submarine die because they're attacked by something. He does save like 11 people, but still, because some guy died, he's a piece of shit. And that's how they start the movie. So, they, um, so after they uh, establish the fact that Jason Statham is a piece of shit in this movie because he let people die for some reason, you know, they establish that, you know. Um, it cuts to the scene where on the, they're, these people are on this big, huge, like, um, in the middle of the ocean, like, uh, research facility where they're about to discover this new area of the ocean that's been undiscovered, and, um, Rain Wilson's in this. If you don't know who Rain Wilson is, he plays, uh, Dwight Schrute on The Office. He plays this billionaire who's funding all this, and so he's there to oversee this exploration into the deep. So they're all down there, you know, they do this whole exploration thing, and it's all looking good. The, the, the graphics in this movie, like the CGI, like I said, is beautiful. Like this underwater, like, just just underwater world that they made for this was beautiful. But they're down there and all of a sudden they get attacked. And they, don't, they can't see what they're being attacked by. And so um, they get attacked a little more and then they get stuck. So Jason, it's up to Jason Statham. To go down and save them so they have to travel to jason statham which at this point he's become a drunk he's become the town drunk all he does is drink you know yada yada P typical like you were once a hero now you're a piece of shit but you're going to become a hero again scenario so they bring him back because his ex-wife is in this submarine that's been attacked so they go down and here they find out they get attacked by this huge megalodon shark and the reason they find out is because the one researcher ends up going before Jason Statham gets there and she gets, like, con uh, grabbed by a fucking gigantic squid or gigantic octopus. Then the fucking Meg comes and bites the octopus and kills it. And so the funny thing is how Jason Statham, his reaction to this, he's like, she's like, it's a giant shock. And he's like, it's a megalodon. That's just the way he says it was fucking hilarious. Like, and so the whole time in this movie after this, um, they're trying to save, you know, Jason Statham's wife and her crew, or ex-wife and their crew from this submarine. And he gets them. And then 
the one guy has to sacrifice himself to get them out and then the megalodon blows up the submarine well when that happens the explosion like opens up this rift in the water so the megalodon's able to get out so now we got a megalodon that's supposed to be extinct for millions of years is out swimming around the ocean free free you know and so the basically this movie is about them trying to stop this megalodon before it destroys everything and i'm not going to give away the ending i'm not going to give away the plot twist but what i will say is like i said the cgi that they use in this movie is amazing jason statham even though he acts the same in every movie i feel was still amazing in this movie and everything about this movie was just great like you know the suspense the comedy there was some comic relief moments there was some really suspenseful moments there were some moments that were just sheer terrifying in this movie and they managed to capture them all perfectly while not while not being over dramatic with it or too much cgi now i will say i will say this they do at one point go a little too far in my opinion with jason statham and the shark you'll know exactly what i'm talking about when you see it i'm not going to give that part away but they go a little too far with it and you'll see but all in all guys this movie is amazing i definitely recommend you check it out if you haven't bought it rent it if you own it and you haven't seen it in a while watch it again this movie is definitely worth picking up um i'm glad i got the blue the blue uh, this is the 4k I got it on 4K, the only way to watch it. Because with the CGI, the 4K is beautiful. And I got the steel book. Look, that's, I guess that's Jason Statham, and that's the Meg right there. That's a beautiful picture right there. But, so if I'd have to, here comes my favorite part of the, uh, the review. What would I give this? I'd say I'd have to give the Meg a solid 8 out of 10. No, you know what? I'm going to give the Meg 9 out of 10. Because it was a fun movie. I enjoyed it. It didn't feel too long. If anything, it actually felt like short because you're having so much fun throughout the movie. So yeah, I'm going to definitely give this a 9 out of 10. And uh, I definitely recommend it. Go watch it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And yeah, so, but. All right, Horror Horde. That's my review on the Meg. I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And um, yeah. So, with all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you for everything you guys do for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming back and watching my videos and leaving comments and just making my, my channel alive. Because that's what you guys are doing. You guys are making my channel alive. So, with all that being said, Horror Horror, this is your boy Horror Gamer saying, until next time, as always, don't fear the darkness. Embrace it.